Hello again. I am glad to be back. The folks over at the Defense Acquisition University asked me to come talk to you today about writing a contract effort description. They had two reasons for asking me. The first reason, is that I am the contracting officer representative, therefore, it is my job to write these descriptions. The second reason, is they know how important the descriptions are, to source selections officials. So, without further delay, let me just jump right in. Once your contract is registered, the first thing I have to do is write the effort description. This is a comprehensive description of the performance work statement, or the statement of work. The contract effort description is viewed by source selection officials throughout the entire federal government, not just the DOD. Many of these source selection officials may not be familiar with our program or project. Therefore, our contract effort description must be as descriptive as possible, so that those unfamiliar with our contract can still understand it. We should be sure to include detailed descriptions of key technologies, components, and subsystems, as well as the complexity of the contract, or risk. We should also spell out any acronyms that we use, as well as define any technical terms that we discuss. An accurate, detailed contract effort description is a critical part of the evaluation, because it will enable source selection officials to determine if our evaluation is relevant to their procurement. After you have written your contract effort description, remember to check these questions as you review your work. Does it include a detailed description of key technologies, components, subsystems, and agencies involved? Are acronyms spelled out and technical terms defined? Does it describe the complexity and risk involved in performing the work? And, is your contract effort description written in a clear, non-technical manner? If you have addressed these questions, then your contract effort description is complete, and you're ready to begin writing the evaluation, to include ratings and narratives. Thanks for your time today.